back to the channel you guys welcome back to ironclad rc i uh, just wanted to kind of show you guys some of the new props i just got in all right a uh, real quick video for you guys uh maybe kind of help you guys kind of decide or figure out what you're what you're looking at with abc props uh normally i run octura and tfl props i got a Pranther prop pro boat props a couple aquacraft props but um i've never had any abc props and i'm really really stoked to get these guys in uh if you guys are looking to step up your freaking propeller game or or rc hand boat speed and handling game abc props might be your freaking ticket especially if you're trying to get some high speed high numbers um I'm balancing my props by myself, alright, I was going to make a balancing video for you guys, but every time I make a balancing video, um, I get a bunch of freaking hate comments, so uh, I'm not going to be doing that, but um, I would like to, I would like to, but uh, I got that Octura right there, that 545 balanced up pretty good, an M545. Um, I've been working on this little guy right here. This is a 15, 16, 10 rake, 0.50 bar. All right, so I'm going to try to kind of explain it to you. Uh, I could be wrong on a couple little things. I, I'm not sure about the bar, but I'm pretty sure about the bar. <laughs> all right, so this is a 15, 16. All right. Uh, 15, 15 is the, the the diameter of the propeller all right so you basically 38 millimeters excuse me yeah 30 38 37 and some change uh 16 is the pitch okay the the pitch is the what the, the angle the blade comes off the hub all right uh the the rake is the angle the propeller comes off the hub all right you see how this has more of an angle that's the rake all right this has got a 17 rake a 10 rake all right and the 0 0.50 bar, I'm fairly certain the 50 bar is the blade area. All right, I'm pretty sure, man. I would like for somebody to correct me if I'm wrong. All right, so we got the um, the 15, 16, 38 millimeters. All right, then we got a 16, 16. This is a 40 millimeter diameter prop with a 16 pitch. All right, um, 17 rake, like I said. See the rakes more than the 10 rake, all right? And then we got a 17, 16 here. Okay, so we basically got a 38, a 40, and a 43 millimeter prop here on um, basically 16 on all three of these, all right? The only 17 pitch I got is this um, 17, 17 here. All right, same bar as these three right here all right so we've got 15 16 16 16 17 16 and a 17 17 okay uh so i'm gonna be uh balancing up these props and getting them ready for some upcoming videos all right so um this one i've been working on this one already kind of getting it Kind of getting it prepped up and balanced out. I'm about 80% done on, with it. I got about six hours on it. Um, the hub was really bad on this one. Really bad. The, the hole was actually like cocked in the hub a little bit. Or the hub was like, I don't know how you would say it. But it was it was really out of whack. You can kind of see how, how thin this side is. And how thick that side is. So it was actually like not wanting to... Um, it wasn't wanting to i'm working on the hub it, it's not wanting to balance basically uh same thing with this one this one right here they're actually all in pretty good shape uh when you get when you get props that are not balanced you basically have to finish the prop yourself all right so this is the, the only complaint i have about all of these props okay is this one one deal right here and it might not even be a complaint you see that right there on this 1616 you see that oh man that sucks man i don't know i mean it look it just looks like a mold mark really you see that and i don't know how i would get that straightened out really but uh that's the only complaint i have about them other than that right there you see how thin this side is and how thick that side is that just makes a lot of work for you when you're trying to get this thing balanced you out. You guys kind of see these guys. I'll kind of keep moving them around for you so you can get a different perspective of them. 
Um, they're really nice props, man. I'm super freaking excited to get them and have them for the channel and have them for my boats because so these two right here are going to be for the UL-19. Actually, all three of those right there will be for the UL-19 and my Delta Force 35 and we'll probably run them on the V2 Sonic Wake. And I got a new boat coming to the channel. Um, so these props, all these props should be pretty good for the new boat as well. Uh, you guys will be pretty stoked about it. I know a couple of you guys already have this boat. So you, you guys will probably be really stoked. So, uh, And those of you who don't have the boat, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. Okay. So we've got a uh, Octura. This is my Octura X450 that I've cut down to, uh, I think it's 47 might even be 40 yeah 47 all right and i got another one of these on one of my boats i've actually detongued it and basically made an m447 out of it but that's a freaking awesome prop if you got the power to push it that x450 right there uh this right here is a m40 447 that i've cut down to a m447 so i didn't cut this one down it's the other one all right so this is a true M447. I'm going to have to cut it down because um, I actually, I think I hit a damn turtle with it or something in the water. And I got a, I rolled my, my edge of my blade over right there. I got to work that out. But uh, that's the M447. Hopefully you guys can see all that. All right. Now we got a, a, a 6. This is an Octura 645. It's basically a 44. That's what killed Jesse James, ain't it? That's a 645 right there. And you guys can see the difference from an Octura propeller and an ABC propeller. <clears throat> you see how the ABC propellers actually have a lot of rake. Uh, nine times out of ten, an Octura propeller don't have much rake, if not any rake at all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially these these X series you see how they're pretty much flat with the rake now pro boat this is a pro boat they basically uh, it's basically the same propeller as this 16 I mean 17 16 right here it's basically the same prop you see that apples and oranges really apples and oranges but it's basically the same prop it, it don't have the same performance as that 17 16 from what I understand I couldn't tell you but I will be able to tell you next week <laughs> <laughs> all right so this is my Pranther. this is my big prop and wheelies prop for the 42 uh this is a 63 millimeter Pranther that i've cut down to a 60 millimeter okay uh i hadn't detongued it i want to detongue it but eventually eventually all right so those are some of my octuras oh this is my favorite octura so if, like looks wise looks wise now i got this for my ul19 my new rigger build and the blackjack 24 this is a 740 uh from what i understand this is for um, not for catamarans and hydroplanes, but I got it. I'm going to use it. All right. That's a 740. Okay. Um, here's a couple TFL props. If you guys are interested, a 43 millimeter, a 40 millimeter TFL and a 40, uh, 40, 38. 38 40 and a 43 right there. Those are all TFL props. Okay. They don't have any rake at all either. All right. Those are copper props compared to the beryllium props. Um, I like TFL props. They're cheap and you can like modify them. This is when I cut down and uh, I basically like started cupping and messing around with it. They're easy to work with, easy to bend in and out, like messing around, tinkering, trying to get a better speed. Nine times out of ten, if you're tinkering with the propeller, added, trying to add rake or, or pitch or, you know, cupping or anything more than likely you're going to lose speed. <laughs> uh, trust me, trust me. I've been through several, several dozens of props trying to modify them to get better speed. And a, and a couple of them, I actually did get better speed, but, uh, nine times out of 10, it's trial and error. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's fun. It's fun to mess with, but, um, here's a couple offshore electrics chopper props. All right, these are choppers from Offshore Electrics. I think this is a 42 millimeter and a 40 millimeter. All right, this is the one that I like to run on my little Delta Force. And in my last video, I was propping wheelies with. See how it's got a, a you know, not very much um, blade area. See how it's got a thin blade area, and uh, it's got a little bit of rake. Okay, it's got some lift to it. It don't have no 
no tongues on it. And uh, on my little mono, that little Delta Force uh, 23, it's a fun basher prop. It like keeps, it, it basically lifts the whole damn boat out the water. It's got a lot of lift and uh, keeps the bow up. But those are fun little props to mess around with. They're cheap. They're like $5.99 offshore electric props. Pretty cool little props to play with. Um, let's see, what is this? Uh, M, this is a new prop I just got. All right, I don't really polish up the back of my prop. I know, I know, it'll go faster and you get more speed if you polish them up. But I got a family. I have a YouTube channel. I freaking run a tree business. I don't have time to spend hours and hours polishing a prop. I barely have enough time to freaking balance the dang, the dang props. Uh, that's a. This is an M440. Okay, we got an M447 right here. And this is a 545, M545. All right. I'm j I was wondering why this hub on this 545 is so small compared to the five, uh, four, four, M447. Well, just curious about that. If anybody knows or can answer my question, I'd be much appreciated. Um, these are some freaking Rob, Rob Warden. Um, he actually makes these prop boxes. They're freaking awesome, man. He 3D prints them. They're freaking cool. Um, I still haven't found the right pins for this one. These pins are a little bit small, but he does 8th and 3 16 props boxes. I'll, add, I'll include his email in the description. Um, I get all my props from Offshore Electrics. Every damn one of these props come from Offshore Electrics. So if you guys need a prop, OSE is the place to go, okay? Um, so I got a few eighth props i'm not going to take them out because they're kind of i don't have my pin stuck in yet hadn't found the right pin but um this is a six a 630 a 427 all right this is a 430 and this is a 427 that i cut down to a 24 that's a mini mono prop that mini mono pro, little boat right there that little aluminum prop that's a badass little prop right there i think it's 32 millimeters so yeah yeah i just wanted to show you guys some props here i'm not going to get into uh what they do and all that shit i have an old video about that if you guys want to watch it you can go back in my old video my library and check it out but a couple of pro boat props that's the v2 prop and 42 prop but um kind of give you an idea what certain props look like compared to other props pretty cool man i'm like a woman collecting shoes i collect props um i love props and i would have probably a dozen more if i wouldn't have lost them not tightening my nuts down or using loctite or double nuts uh prop nuts <laughs> i would have about a dozen more man so i here lately i've made damn sure i even put blue loctite on my freaking nuts from now on like especially with these 25 dollar props i definitely loctite them bad boys into place so a uh, little different view for you guys here 17 17 17 16 16 16 15 16 so i'm editing this part in the video um kind of kind of got close on my 15 16 here all right she's close she's getting there all right i actually polished it up a little bit <laughs> <laughs> doing this video i was like well maybe i will start polishing my props a little you know um i used to polish my props but i eh, kind of got away from it but um oh yeah what i was wanting to say what the reason i'm editing this in is you guys you know you can upgrade your esc your motor and and um you know get better speeds but the way you get better speed is with your propeller okay if you hung in here this long, you guys deserve to know to know that. So, um, you know, put the biggest batteries, biggest ESC, biggest motor you want to in your boat. The way you get speed in a boat is your propellers. Okay, that's what's pushing the boat. That's the most important part, speed-wise. All right, keep your boat light and pick the right propeller okay uh catamarans they tend to like these and and riggers they tend to like these high rake props all right it keeps basically lifts the aft and keeps the bow down uh monos they like well they monos like 
high lift props too. Um, mine is like the medium lift with, with not a lot of rake, you know? Uh, I mean, there's a lot more to it. Trust me, there's a lot freaking more to it. But I hope this video kind of helps you guys decide, kind of make your decision on a boat prop. I didn't really go into all the details and stuff. But uh, if you want to go fast, a prop's where it's at, okay? The props are where it's at, all right? Shine them bad boys up. Okay, shine them up, shine them up. Don't be lazy like Big B. All right, well, I uh, hope you guys have a good holiday. Enjoy your Easter. Happy Easter uh, from Big B at Ironclad RC. All right, just wanted to show you my new props. Um, as as I get them balanced up, I'll, I'll start showing you guys what they do on the boat. Um, in my last video with the Delta Force 35, I was actually running this um, 545 right here my 57 miles an hour with that little prop um not even trying just messing around testing the boat but um i hope you, i hope this helps you guys out hope it kind of shines some light on um a little bit anyway helps you out big b with ironclad rc channel where we tinker test and buy rc props <laughs> we'll see you guys next time